Hello everybody, today I'm going to unbox Sega Genesis Flashback modded console. It has 85 games from manufacturer and also about um, 1700 edits, so about total over 1800 games. Okay, the games are from Sega CD, Game Gear and Genesis. So it has all the games from these three systems. Once again, Genesis, Sega CD and Game Gear. Okay, so let's open it. So we open the box, it comes with two wireless controllers, two wireless controllers, uh, batteries goes, go over here, okay, this is the console, okay, charging, charger, power cord, and power adapter in one piece. And the HDMI cable to connect to your TV or monitor. Okay. So this controller with three buttons, this is primary controller. This is controller number one. This is controller number two, okay. Okay, so also you can play uh, original cartridges with this console. And you can use uh, wired controllers as well if you if you want to do so. Mm, if you like wired more for some reason, maybe because you you don't want to use batteries or any other reason. Okay, so we have console turned on. Uh, here are two controllers. This one, this is the button to turn them on. So let's turn on the primary controller like this. Then we can go, these are the games that come from manufacturer in alphabetical order. You go like this. So these are 85 games that come from manufacturer. Let's go through them real quick. Okay, and go up, then we go here and all the added games are over here, SD card. So again, the console required some modification to accept SD card and uh, games from other systems like Game Gear and Sega CD, okay? So here are all the game's titles. This one will, this ones will be without the picture. So let's go through the games. All games go alphabetically. When you see this, CD means it's from Sega CD. When you see GG, it means from Game Gear. So there are pretty much every single uh, Genesis game, Game Gear game, Sega CD, at least all we could find. Probably like over 99%, even some games that were released only for foreign markets or for or never released. So here we have a thousand, so... so there are more games to go through, so the total, total is gonna be over 1800 games.
So that's it. These are all the games. So let's try this game Snatcher. This is from Sega CD. So press start. Start. Which will you use? Oh, okay, it's for sale. Okay, I will use this one. New game. Okay. Okay, here we are in the game, so... It showed somewhere in the list that it's most popular Sega CD game. I never played it, I don't know. You choose some dialogue options and stuff. Talk. I'm Gillian C. I've been assigned to Junker Headquarters effective today. Okay. Oh, you're Mr. C. Please forgive me. My name is Mika Slayton. I'm the administrative assistant and operator here at Junker Headquarters. Very pleased to meet you. Okay. So, um, you can keep talking with this girl. I don't know. So then, in order to save game, you press this uh, menu button over here. Okay, or there is also a menu button on the console over here. Over here, okay. Then you choose save slots, then you press, uh, uh, and you press A, and you have five game slots, five save slots for this game. So you press A again, okay. So then the game is saved now. So for example, if now you want to, um, now you want to turn off the console, then you go away, you come back, you wanna keep, uh, continue playing this game. So you turn it. So then you find this game again, you come back, you wanna continue playing this game, you find this game, then you press um, start. Then you have safe slot over here. This is your safe when you were talking with this girl. So this is how safe game works. So it works for every game. Okay. So then you can quit the game. Press A to quit the game if you want to play something else without uh, turning, off, turning uh, off and on the console. So let's try another game. So let's try another Sega CD game, which is Sonic CD. Okay. So again, we press start. Sonic CD the Hedgehog. New game. Okay. So jump. I don't know what to do in this game, to be honest. So. Once again, in order to save game, you press this menu button. Then, uh, then you press A. You go to save slots. Then you can save. You can ha you have again five save slots per game. You press save here. Mm, press C, I guess. No, A to save here. A to save. So now it's saved, okay? 
So then, then again, if you want to quit the game, quit the game, press A. Then you go back to the main menu. And if you want to, to come back and play this game again, press start. Then we, here we have the save slot over here for this game. Okay, now let's try this game. Lun Lunar Eternal Blue, again, shows its Sega CD game, right? So again, we press start. Okay, like after like an hour intro, we can start playing. Like, again, I never played this game, so let's see what's going on here. We go here, we go here. console have a very good uh, option so for example we go bare hands against this guy with a sword he kills us we press button rewind just like that we have this option on top of saving at any moment we can also do this rewind thing so and die again like this so if you're looking to get one like this there'll be a link in the description to buy and email to contact thank you very much for watching please like subscribe thank you very much